Our testimony is called Void Without Christ. Public speaking is not one of them, so bear with me. <laughs> but um, God has been so good to me in my life, despite the times that I was walking with Him or when I was younger before I came to know Him as my Lord and Savior. And growing up in a home where my mother did teach us about Jesus, and we would have prayer time together. Um, Jesus wasn't the focus of our, the center of our family. We were, I was raised in strength and uh, go out there and get on my dad's a rough around the edges construction guy and taught me that I can go do anything. So I found myself as a young adult out in the world and by the world standards I was doing pretty well. I was able to provide for myself, I had lots of friends, uh, a decent job that was paying well, but I was still void in my heart and searching and seeking something that I, I didn't know what I was looking for. Um, at the same time, my brother was going to school um, through Detroit World Outreach. He was going to school to be a pastor. And he extended his love to me all the time and just um, taught me about Christ and invited me to church and never judged me for living in my worldly ways that I was. And I started going to church with him and I accepted Jesus Christ as my savior at 19. Um, what happened after that is I, I, I failed to nourish that relationship with the Lord. And I kind of left the church and continued being busy, keeping myself busy uh, with worldly things. And I joined the military after that um, as another way of seeking out something. And I had a great career. Uh, I got married, I had a beautiful daughter got out of the military, I had a few other very successful careers and did very well for myself, or so I thought, but yet again, I still found myself seeking something and feeling void and lonely and scared and not knowing what my purpose on this, on this earth was. <clears throat> I had two more children after that and found myself with three small babies and a failed marriage, and I was living in a place where I knew nobody, and I wasn't with my family or friends, and for the first time I was alone, and quiet, because I wasn't busy with all the things that I had previously kept myself busy with, and the Lord spoke to my heart, and this is when I was 26, and that's when the Lord got a hold of my heart, and He designed my life so awesome that although I had accepted Christ, He allowed me to continue to be busy until He said, no, no, I want you as my daughter. And He designed my life to a place where He knew that I had to be quiet. And I embraced that quiet time because that's when I developed this loving relationship with our Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And um, so I was 26 when I began my walk with Christ. And since I began my walk with Christ, my life has just changed so much for the better. He has given us uh, a purpose and his vision for our lives. He has given me a direction and a peace inside my heart that I've never been able to, to feel outside there in the world. I guess with all the things that I had done before I knew Christ, I was always successful, but it was never satisfying. I was never satisfied. I was always seeking more. And then, once I gave my life over to Christ and began that relationship with Him, everything is satisfying. Even the challenging times in my life, even the sorrowful times in my life, are still satisfying because I still have Jesus Christ to guide me through that to teach me, to give me his wisdom, and let me see his ways and his knowledge, and what I'm supposed to be learning in those difficult times. And when we do have our successes, or we've you know, accomplished whatever we've set out to do, he's there to celebrate with us too. And it's the most rewarding life to live with Christ. 
And I had a lot of things that I, I needed forgiveness for, for when I was living in the world in my worldly ways. And <clears throat> things I could have never forgave myself for, but he forgave me. And I appreciate that so much that I don't have to bear the weight of the sin that I was living in. And not just past sins, but uh, everyday life. You know, we mess up every day. Every day is not perfect. I make mistakes. And, and through his freedom and through what he paid for us on the cross, we don't have to bear all that weight. We, can, he, we ask for him to forgive us. We come to him with true repentance. And then this peace and this joy comes over us. And that's what living with Christ is about. It's just, it's a wonderful, a wonderful life. Um, so he gives us our identity, our direction, and our purpose. <clears throat> Coming to Christ to know Christ at 26 years old is, is, is late or early, I guess. It's a relative term. But, it, you know, when you're in your 20s, you're constantly going through this life trying to figure out who you are and where you're going and what you should be doing. And when you have a prayer life with, with Jesus, he'll show that. He'll show you that path that he wants you on. And it might not always be what we want, but his life, life with Christ, is a good, righteous life. And it's fun and it's exciting. And even when you get scared, you still are... Deep down, you're excited to see what Jesus has for you because you know that you don't have to do it alone, that he's paved the way and that, that we do things on his strength. And, um, one thing I've loved about leaning on Christ and having a prayer life with him and knowing who he is is that um, he's a humble man and he's given us humility. Humility to... Just be that, not be prideful in the things that we have, and just walk more like Him. It teaches us how to love and care for others, have more compassion for others, which in which in turn just draws us closer to the relationships that we have on this earth while we're awaiting to go home to the kingdom. And uh, Jesus paid it all on the cross, so we have eternal salvation. You know, like some when I was younger, I couldn't really grasp my mortality, but as we grow, we understand that um, we have to make decisions that are going to ultimately lead us to our eternal life. And I'm so thankful that Jesus paid my sins on the cross so that I can spend eternity in heaven. Thank you.